All right, it's your dad's favorite PokeTuber here. Today we're having an OU tier match against Dark from Discord. If you guys would like to have a battle with me, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. Links as always are in the description below. So you guys know my team by now. It's the same Pokeam team built around the Alolan Golem. This team is fucking trash. Like, I've gotten so many battles with this team. I think I've only won, like, three of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, it's a cool team, but I just... I have the worst luck with this team. I don't know what it is, but... I just fucking lose constantly with this team, so I think I'm going to retire this team after this battle. But anyway, it was a fun battle nonetheless. Look at my opponent's team. He has the epitome of a rain team here. I, I think I've literally seen his entire team like a thousand times. <laughs> he has the, uh, the Ferrothorn, the Kingdra, and Mega Swampert, which can obviously abuse the rain, as well as Tapu Koko with Thunder if he has that. He also has the Rain Setter himself, the... Uh, Lord Pelipper over there, Num Nexus's favorite fucking mon or whatever. Uh, he also has the uh, the Gudra there. So, like I said before, you guys know my team. So, this is a fun battle, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins. My opponent is going to lead off with his Ferrothorn, as I'm going to lead off with my Alolan Golem. So I actually predicted his Ferrothorn lead because I do have the Magnet Pull ability on my Golem. So. He's actually stuck in here, he can't swap, and uh, I do pack the Fire Punch here on my Alolan Golem, so this Ferrothorn is basically fucked. It's going to take two Fire Punches to kill this thing. Unfortunately for me, he does have the Rocky Helmet, so I'm going to take Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet. It's going to do a dick load of damage to my Golem, and how the hell am I even able to go for Fire Punch? We're underwater here. Doesn't make sense, but anyway, Golem did a fantastic job getting rid of that damn Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is such a pain in the ass. And speaking of pains in the ass, he brings in his Swampert here. This thing was a monster this entire game. I struggled so hard with this thing. Like, I knew at Team Preview that this battle was going to be a challenge, just because I pack a lot of Mons weak to water, so the fact that he has a rain team is pretty shitty, so I'm actually going to go into my Zapdos as he brings in Gudra. I'm going to swap out, not wanting to take a special attack on my Zapdos. I go into my Magearna, but he actually is Choice Banded Gudra, Goes for the Iron Tail on my Magearna, does a dick load of damage. I'm actually going to swap out in my Landorus, get the Intimidate, he's at neutral, and then he's going to swap out into his Pelipper here. So, I was actually going for the Z, Z Fly or Supersonic Sky Strike on the Gudra, but he actually swapped out into Pelipper. And unfortunately, this Landorus is more of a like a bulky build rather than a an offensive one. So, unfortunately, this is not going to be able to kill the uh, the damn Pelipper here. Which really fucking blows, because that's his, uh, well, it's probably not his only rain setter, but it's 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 definitely his main uh, rain setter, so it sucks that I wasn't able to get rid of that. So I'm going to bring out Magearna as my opponent is going to swap out into the Swampert, and here he is going to Mega Evolve. As I bring in Alolan Golem, because basically I don't really, I don't think I really need this thing anymore, so I'm just going to sack it off here. And uh, he's just going to go for the Ice Punch here, and unfortunately that is my nut is uh, my nut's gonna faint here so I'm gonna bring out my boy Mudpie here and uh, unfortunately I'm not a physically defensive Gastrodon um, that's gonna come to bite me in the ass this battle for sure I'm actually especially defensive but I'm just gonna go for the toxic here trying to toxic that fucking <laughs> that Swampert just to try to whittle away at that thing but he actually brings out the Gudra here which honestly I will definitely take a toxic on that as well so I'm gonna go ahead and swap out back into the Zapdos now that I know that this thing is physical, because I know that Zapdos can basically wall this thing to the end of time, and uh, he's just going to go for a Power Whip. It's not going to do very much to my Zapdos. I do have Rocky Helmet, and he's poisoned, so my opponent actually is going to just decide to stay in here. He actually misses a Power Whip there, which is kind of funny. And uh, I'm just going to go for a Defog, because his Stealth Rocks are uh, kind of annoying for my team, really. So. But yeah, basically my opponent is going to leave in his Gudra here to die uh, between the uh, Rocky Helmet and, and pff, Jesus, I can't talk. Between the Rocky Helmet and the Toxic Damage, he's just gonna die. So I'm actually just gonna go for some Roost here, trying to get my Zapdos back up to full health. Zapdos wasn't looking too hot there a few turns ago, so now his Gudra is finally gonna go down here, and uh, I'm gonna go for a final Roost here and uh, be sitting pretty, I guess. <laughs> at least a little bit better than I was a few turns ago. So here my opponent is going to bring out the Tapu Koko, and this thing is also a monster. I hate dealing with Tapu Kokos. They hit so damn hard, especially in the electric terrain. 
So I'm going to swap out back out into my AV Magirna here as my opponent for whatever reason goes for Taunt. I don't know what he was expecting. Um, but yeah, he's going to now Bolt Switch out. I'm going to be able to eat that because Magirna is bulky as shit. And uh, my opponent is going to bring out She Squirts again to uh, set up the rain. So finally, I'm going to be able to kill off this damn Pelipper. <laughs> I'm going to go for the floor cannon here and get rid of that damn thing. Now, I basically just have to try my best to stall out this rain for 8 turns because I know he has the damp rock. So in comes Swampert, the bane of my existence this battle. This thing was such a pain in the ass. I'm actually going to bring out my landers here, basically just sacking it off. And uh, he's going to go for a waterfall in the rain. I'm assuming he's jolly because I actually live that, which is fucking insane. And uh, he's just going to go for an ice plunge. He actually gets a useless crit there. Doesn't matter, obviously, and uh, Landorus goes down. So here, I'm going to bring out my boy Fetus, or my girl Fetus, <laughs> my girl Fetus, Jesus, can't talk, right? And uh, I'm going to just go for the energy ball here. As he swaps out into the Kingdra, it's going to do a dick load of damage to that Kingdra. He's going to go for the uh, Draco Meteor, and uh, I knew I'd be able to at least live one, so I actually just stay in here and go for energy ball. That's going to get rid of the Kingdra, which is pretty good for me, because honestly, Kingdra can sweep teams all by itself. So now honestly, all I'm worried about is this damn Swampert. And I kind of figured, I do have the Regenerator on this Reuniclus, kind of figured it's not really worth swapping out now. So here I'm just going to bring out my boy Mud Pie once again as my opponent is going to go for the Earthquake. I go for the Scald, literally praying for a burn. I needed to get a burn there because that was my only hope of coming back in this battle at all. Unfortunately for me, I'm Chad, my luck is not that damn good, <laughs> and uh, I don't get the burn there. So I'm actually going to swap out into my Magirna as he goes for the Ice Punch, and finally the rain goes away. Jesus Christ. So here he's going to go for the Waterfall, and that is going to kill off my Magirna, but my Magirna did a fantastic job this battle. So now I'm going to bring out my Zapdos, and I kind of figure I could probably take an Ice Punch if I have to. And uh, my only play really is to go for the Heat Wave, which I know Swampert resists, but honestly, I am trying to get a damn burn on this thing at all costs. <laughs> so unfortunately, I don't get it there either, and uh, I'm forced to go for a Roost here, basically just trying to whittle away at this thing with the, uh, the Rocky Helmet. And my opponent knows this, so he actually goes for the Stone Edge there as I go for another fucking Heat Wave, and I don't get the burn again. I was so damn unlucky, so now my opponent is just going to kill me off with another Stone Edge. It would have been nice had he fucking missed, but of course, <laughs> I'm, I'm never that lucky. So I'm going to bring out Mud Pie. Mud Pie is my last Mon, and uh, that is GG. So good game, Dark. We'll definitely battle again. I had a fantastic time. This guy is uh, a really good battler. I actually met him in the Killer Nachos Discord server, but uh, yeah, we'll definitely rematch sometime. I had a blast. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle. I love you and peace out.